Hey everyone, wanted to make a video about my favorite game pub publisher out there of all time. Uh, there's this this video game publisher is my favorite and it was always dear to me. They made games so much fun and anyone could pick it up, play it. That's why I love arcade games is because of this company and it's so sad to see that they they're gone now. But I want to give a little tribute to them, and that is Midway Games. Midway Games had so many fantastic games, some of my all-time favorites like NFL Blitz, NHL Hits. I got the games right uh, here. I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorites. Um, I played them on PS1, PS2, N64. Um, it looks like they've had some for, well, Sega Dreamcast a little bit, not too much. Um, Game Boy Color. Um, but these guys were awesome, and I want to just tell you about the, my favorite games from uh, uh, Midway Games because, yeah, they gotta be. I have to talk to, talk to you guys about them. Um, there was uh, NBA Jam, one of my all time favorite basketball games, and um, you know I'm a sports fan, so I think that got really that that's maybe why I really enjoyed them so much. There was Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey for N64. I remember playing that one just recently. Uh, pretty awesome game, easy to play, no problem. Uh, it's kind of a the it's before like NHL hits came to be. Um, looks like they 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 did some work with Unreal Tournament um, for the Xbox 360. Um, let's see here. I think they helped out. It looks like they might have helped out with. Uh, the Unreal Anthology, um, which is like all the games that were for PC for Unreal Tournament. Um, looks like Total Car Carnage, which was just like Smash TV. Um, there's Tubin. There is, let's see here, TNA Impact. That was okay game. It wasn't the greatest. Oh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day at the arcade. That game was awesome, um, where you had the gun and you shot all the, you're shooting all the robots from Terminator. Um, there's Spy Hunter. I didn't play much of that, but Smash TV was fantastic. Um, that's where you're on like a game show, kind of like the Arnold Schwarzenegger's movie, The Running Man. It's pretty much The Running Man, except it's an arcade game. You shoot up all these people coming right at you, and you got to kill as many as you can. Or if they touch you once and get at you, you're dead. Um, that was a fantastic game. Um, I remember playing that at the arcades and had just a ball with it. Um, there's also San Francisco Rush, the old um, uh, San Francisco Rush 2049. Rush 2 for N64. Um, those games, I played the San Francisco Rush series at the arcade a long time ago. I had a grand, a good old time. Um, you, you'd go up in the air and you'd fly up in the air and when you hit the ground you'd be like wiggling around like almost losing control. Just a really fun racing game. Uh, what else is there? Re Ready to Rumble Boxing. I played some of that. It's a pretty darn good game. You guys probably remember some of that. And those were always with um, N64, uh, PS2, and those ga games like that. And it was also on the Dreamcast. Um, there was one and two of that series. Um, Rampage, great art, you know, pretty huge arcade game. I wasn't into it as much as other people were. There were some people that were really into that game, Rampage. Um, Paperboy, I used to love. I, 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 Paperboy is a hard ass game. I always had trouble with Paperboy um, for uh, the NES. Um, I, but I still enjoy the game. I like the idea of Paperboy. Um, there's the NHL 2-on-2 two -two Challenge. Um, Olympic Hockey Nagano, uh, Naga, was it Nagago? No. Um, that's from uh, the Olympics for the N64. That was okay. Just kind of like Wayne Gretzky's 3D Challenge. Off-Road Thunder. Um, and I think there's Hydro Thunder. Those were racing games um, for the arcade off-road was like you know dirt but uh dirt trucks and hydro thunder was uh boat boat racing pretty much and then i also have um with me some some games i'm going to show you uh nhl hits pro i've been playing that again the original nhl hits um was three on three and then they, um, which was a fantastic game, they did that for a number of years. And then they made this one, which you can use NHL rules 
if you want, you can turn them off if you'd like. It just depends. You can change the game settings, which is fantastic. But it's all, but instead of three on three, it's five on five, and um, you can make the goalies, I guess, tougher and all that good stuff. All a lot of a lot of customization you can do with how hard you want to make the game or whatever. So I've been playing quite a bit of that. The, there's hard hits, lots of fighting involved. Um, the slap shots are really good. You can knock them out into, you can knock them off the ice uh, into the glass and into the stands actually. So that's a really fun game. NHL Hits Pro. There's uh, MLB Slug Slugfest for those baseball fans out there. Um, you can steal the base. You can punch the while you're on base. You can punch the first baseman and, and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of big dives. It's t this one's a little bit harder to understand the controls, but I really enjoy that game. It's it, it's pretty decent. It's something different. Um, I'm not I'm not the greatest at baseball games, but that's a fun one. Um, I'm gonna get into another game at the end. Um, we also have here here's the one of the Midway Arcade cl uh, Treasures too. The games on here included, of course, everyone's um, beloved uh, Mortal Kombat. One, you know, like t number two, number three. I remember playing the first Mortal Kombat on Sega Genesis. Blew my mind. It was such an easy game to play, but hard to master. And nowadays, it's so sad because like the combinations are so difficult that you can't even, you know, get around to understanding them unless you want to sit on your butt for like hours on end. But um. Let's see here. Narc was huge. Arch Rivals, the basketball game, um, right here. Yeah, maybe you can see it. Just a, that's a fun game to play. Um, Arch Rivals. I just suggest you guys find that game. Um, possibly Pit Fighter. That's an old fighting game. Uh, like kind of like I don't know about Street Fighter ish, but um, it's kind of like Mortal Kombat. They use like when they made Mortal Kombat, they used actual people for the uh, uh, the people on the game. And uh, that's what they did for Street, uh, the Pit Fighter game that I remember playing a long time ago. And then, um, what else is there? Uh, there's this other one here I got. Uh, they talk about the game Tubin, which is... Uh, Tubin is where you're on an inner tube and you got to avoid some objects and you got to, like, go down waterfalls. And you're just... You're on an inner tube. It's pretty fun. Um, there's Marble Madness. Everyone remembers that game. Marble Madness, where you got the marble and you got to get get down to a certain point within a certain amount of time really fast and avoid um, falls and stuff like that. Um, also, let's see here, there's road blasters. I think you have a car and you're shooting at things. Um, they, I believe they had that at uh, um, the arcade, um, I believe. Um, I, th I don't know about Gauntlet. Um, but yeah, my, my favorite all-time game, though, is... NFL Blitz. I have been playing NFL Blitz off and on for 10, I don't know, about 15 years, but like since 1999, off and on. The best of them were, was NFL Blitz 2000 and NFL Blitz 2001. Um, I think they went up to 2003. I know they have the Blitz, the, the league, which I played that and that wasn't too bad either. Um, but that game I cherish so much. Um, I used to play with my friend Justin. Uh, he, he, he used to pass and I would always be the wide receiver and we always seemed to just click and we were able to always, uh, get a huge gain for, um, uh, touchdowns. And then my, on my channel, I do have, uh, full games of NFL Blitz on, uh, on my channel that you can watch, um, if you want to go, want to go back to those memories. Um, NBA Showtime, NBA on NBC, one of my fan favorite games, um, NBA Showtime, uh, the arcade game just fantastic um, with the big flying dunks and it's a it's an upgrade to NBA Jam. Um, I I remember playing it up in Minneapolis at their uh, Game Works. Just a just a fantastic game. I wish I could own that game. And let's see here we got uh, nah NBA Ballers. Oh I didn't never know about this. Muppet Race Mania. I've never seen that game before. Uh, they made that one, supposedly. I, don't, I might have to look into that game. Uh, all the Mortal Kombats, you know. 1, 2, and 3 were pretty darn good. After that, I kind of didn't like it so much. Uh, Maximum Force, that was like a shooting game, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Micro Machines, I never really got into that game. Uh, 
There's L.A. Rush. That sounds kind of familiar. Killer Instinct. Everyone enjoys Killer Instinct with their fighting games. That uh, that that Killer Instinct w was a pretty decent game for sure. A lot of people love it. They lo they they cherish that game quite a bit. Um, never really got into Joust too much. I think that's a popular one. Um, let's see here. We got. Um, there's game uh, freestyle metal X. That's a um, motocross game, pretty popular. Doom. I guess they got into the Doom and Quake series a little bit. Doom 64. Um, oh my goodness, my favorite ones, my favorite racing games for the arcade was Cruisin' USA and Cruisin' World. Uh, if you would get first place, you would get a free game at the arcade, and I was pretty good at the game at certain points and I used to get free games on there uh, when I would play it and I used to just chuck quarters like crazy in that game uh, with that with those games cruising USA if you haven't played it get it on n64 if it's possible um, California speeds pretty darn good too um, but nothing close to uh, cruising USA um, Arctic Thunder um, that one, like I was talking about, there's the boat racing, the dirt track racing. There's also Arctic Thunder, which is for snowmobiles. They had an arcade game of that, and that was actually pretty fun. You got had like a boost, not NOS or booster or whatever, and they'd send your snowmobile flying. Um, Area 51. That I, I threw so much so much money into that game, and I think I ended up beating it. Thank goodness, but it just it cost me probably like 20 bucks and quarters to beat Area 51 the shooting game where you shoot these aliens and stuff or that are coming at you and they pop out and it was a lot of fun not 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 bad at all um i guess big buck hunter was one of them i never really played too much of that just one of those hunting shooting uh games uh but i think that's about it there's gauntlet legends which a lot of people enjoyed i never got into that game but there are a lot of people that are into the rpgs uh video games um Let's see, I think that's about it. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, you guys can like, unlike, sub, sub to me, comment, whatever works for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video about all the old games that I cherished with Midway games. I, mi I miss them. There was also WWF WrestleMania, the arcade game. That was fantastic. Um, I wish they would come back, but they're ba I think they're bankrupt now. So what you guys can do is always just go to eBay or go to your used game shop and just buy them. Buy those games from Midway because they are, they are classics. See you guys later.